close your eyes. All right, collectors, thanks for joining me today on this episode. By the way, this episode is brought to you by Figure Fever. If you've got a fever for the action figures, then maybe Figure Fever has the cure for you. <laughs> there you go, Figure Fever. I thought that was hilarious. I, I just did that because Figure 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 Fever was the first uh, super chat that I've ever had on this channel, and I thought it was hilarious. Plus, he's not a company. He's just a fellow YouTuber who likes to put out videos and has a love for the hobby like I do. So, thank you so much, Figure Fever. Appreciate it. It's not necessary. I do this for the love of collecting, but if, you know, I don't know, if it strikes you, then go ahead and do it if you like. But I do this for the love of the, the content, the love of the community, the love of the tribe. Um, this isn't my regular job, and I'm by no means a expert or a you know professional at any of this stuff i'm just a dude who likes action figures and the hobby that's it so and i'm not even a professional at photography so you know you don't have to tell me hey you're not doing this shot that shot this shot you're not reviewing this correctly guess what this isn't my job this is a hobby <laughs> and if you're that upset about it you're doing it wrong enjoy the hobby anyways guys that's enough of that um Thanks so much, Figure Fever. That was that was that was pretty funny. I got that idea later on in the day. Anyways, so let's get to it. What did we do here? Well, this is the end result. This is what we got. Now let me take these figures off of here real quick so that we can take a look at. You know what? Let me take them off real quick so that we can take a look at what we did. But not only that, I want to compare it to what it looked like originally. You might not be able to tell and don't mind all the paint. I've just finished painting it up and stuff, but watch this. This is what it used to look like. All right. So that's the figure or the, the vehicle, the ATV as it was, uh, when I finished with it. Right. And this is what it was when it initially started. So can you guys tell what the difference is here? I'll let here, I'll let, let me see if I can get them both in frame and see if you guys can tell the difference. There are, there's a little bit of color difference, but don't mind that. What is the difference? Can you guys tell? Tell what the difference is? All right, let's walk through it. Just giving you a moment there to get acquainted with it. So number one, when I first saw this, um, I was like, I can definitely make this work. I, just, just by the scale that I had in my mind, I saw how big it was. Uh, and I was like, I can definitely make it work. Now, now some of you have asked me, are you going to put big wheels on it? Let's put big wheels on it. Can we put bigger wheels on it? We should put bigger wheels on it. Get another big wheel. Get bigger wheels. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what the fascination with the bigger wheels is. But no, we don't need bigger wheels on these. Here's some pictures of what civilian ATVs look like. Take your time. Here's some pictures of what military ATVs look like. Now, between these two, which one of them has wheels as big as the person? <laughs> Neither one of them. I don't know. I, I Look, this wheel is a lit, just a tiny tad bit small for it, but it's actually most wheels come up to your knee on an ATV, if that, or a little bit below it. So they're literally almost in scale. Look at that. Look at that, guys. They're, they're almost past his knee a little bit. So they're in scale already. There's no need to play around with that. It's, it's fine. It's okay. I mean, here's the thing. You can change the wheels if you like, but it's not going to make it any more realistic. I mean, it is what it is. So... Big wheels might look cooler to you, but that's not my preference. So anyways, so taking a look at the original one, uh, it, it, I needed to increase the size in here. I needed to increase that size. Now, here's something that's interesting. 
that I didn't know with, with this vehicle. Look at this. It actually stands up higher on its own. I, I, I never, so I played Halo 1 and Halo 2, but I never got past that. So I knew Master Chief and I knew all that other stuff, but I, I didn't know all the other things, right? All, you know, all the other uh, different vehicles and stuff. I knew the Warthog because I played around with that, but I don't think I ever got onto, oh, I got the, onto the first iteration of the Mongoose and that, that one didn't do this like cricket looking thing. So anyways, you can stand it up, which is great. So we already got some lift there, but then I was like, well, we need to create some more space here because when you try to put him on here, he's really crunched up. A figure is really crunched up here. So what do we do? Well, we created some additional space by number one, pulling it up off the ground like that, but you can just do, I mean, it still goes up and down, but if you leave it up, I'm probably gonna glue it up in this position because this is what I meant to do with it. Um, and then what you do is we need something to put down here to create some more space so he can he can stretch out his legs a little, right? And number two, he was always bumping into this back thing. Uh, when you put your figure in, he, he almost wants to go past it. It's it's not um, it's in a bad spot, right? I mean, it's not in a bad spot for the for Master Chief because he's smaller, but for you know the regular human or the one six one twelfth scale, it's in a bad spot. So number one, we pulled that off and I filled this in with some Need Night. You guys know what Need Night is if you've been following. It's probably called, the, the, uh, let's call it green stuff because that's what most people call it. It's putty. So we filled that, that in with that and we took that off. And then we took, uh, it doesn't look as great as it should, but uh, it looks good enough for me. It's been in battles. We took this thing off of the back, back here. I'll probably do better with this one. I won't make it as ugly, but we took this off here. I guess this is for another figure to stand on. And then what we did is we inverted it down here at the bottom and we made some additional room for his feet. So now when you put him on, as you saw earlier, he has some room to stretch and put his feet down here if he needs to. Ooh, I even gave it some little jumpiness there. So, and then on top of that, he was crouching way too low uh, for this um, handlebars. Cause look at the handlebars, look how low they are on this one. And then look how higher they are on that one. You see that? So I took this and I put it on top of here and I pulled these out and put that on top to give him some more room uh, so that he could put his hands on it um, and not be all, Ugh all crouch down into that position, which makes it feel awkward and doesn't make it feel right. Now, if we take her off, let's do this. I might have to speed this up a little because it takes me a minute to get them on, or maybe not. I mean, it didn't take me very long to get them on anyways, the first time. So let's put him back on here. Let's get him back on there. And then let's put his arms through there. Come on now, there we go. Now, you guys tell me if that, I don't know, to me, it doesn't look too small at all. I mean, the entire, if you guys see ATVs, they're not, they're not big. The entire purpose of an ATV is to be small. They're not meant to be big. They're not meant to, if they're meant to be big, you you brought along the wrong equipment, right? You're, su you're supposed to bring if you're gonna be carrying a lot of stuff, maybe you should have brought a Jeep then or something or a, or a Humvee. Uh, not this little guy. This little guy is supposed to be for quick strike, quick, fast missions, right? You're not, not, not gonna be dilly-dallying around, shucking and jiving uh, while the enemy's coming after you because you don't even have any protection on ATVs. Look at this, you're just out there hanging out, your whole thing. <laughs> so anyways, I think it looks great and ultimately, no one is half the battle, no. <laughs> and ultimately, that's what matters, right? So to me, it's actually it's actually pretty much kind of in scale to me. Uh, I mean, it might be a tiny, tiny bit small, but compared uh, to some of the other ATVs that are out there, I mean, it's almost minuscule, uh, the difference. Now, like I said, you're gonna have to make some adjustments. This falls under maybe like a mediocre conversion. Uh, like I said, I put, you know, gave him some more room here, took these, inverted them here, took that off, filled it in with putty, 
you know, and leave it straight standing up like that. I mean, I guess you could go down with it like this if you wanted to. I don't know if that makes it better or worse, but to me, this looks cooler when he's when it's standing up like this on the top, just like that. So anyways, guys, what do you think? Do you think I'm crazy for doing that? Oh, you know what? Here's the other thing. Here's a true 112 scale. This one came off of Amazon. Oh my gosh, are we gonna put bigger, uh, we need bigger tires. <laughs> no, you don't need bigger tires. This is, this is supposed to be a 112 scale and look at this, they look about the same size. They look literally about the same size. Now what you could do, and I thought about this, is taking this front end and putting it up here because they're not any thicker. Look at that, this one's actually thicker than this one. So, and I know Joe's are a little bit bigger than 112 scale. They're called 112, but they're a little bit bigger. So let's see how he fits on this one. Let's see, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little small on it. It actually looks be better on the other one, I think. You guys tell me, I don't know, but this is supposed to be 112. Again, these figures, here, you know what? Let me try this. That's a one-to-one -one ratio. Let me back up a little bit so that you don't get any. I'm gonna do that with the other one too. So there he is right there on this bike. That is a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio. And I know, I know you guys saw the perspective change. So that's what he looks like to your eyes if you were looking at him right now. Does he look that bad? I don't know. You guys are gonna have to check that out. Let me see, let me come down a little bit also maybe rotate this up there you guys tell me so let me let me get the other one real quick see if it looks any different because it might have or disoriented the perspective of it let me put them back on here one sec because I think sometimes the lens on this camera distorts the perspective of it so there it is one to one what do you guys think? I, I don't want I don't want it to distort the perspective. I think this one looks well to me it looks better, but I mean you know, I'm crazy so I don't know. You guys tell me. Anyways, all right guys, let me know. Thank you so much for watching today. Appreciate it. I knew I, I actually I'm gonna do the other two that I got. Uh, they're hitting Ross right now. I'm going to do the other two that I got, just like uh, um, this one. And we're going to make a little mini army of Joe. These these are going to be, I'm going to paint these, and these are going to be Cobra ATVs. And these are going to be the Joe's ATVs. So I'll paint these up, and we're going to have like a mini battle. See how that looks like. So, hey, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate everybody. Uh, if, if I've informed, if I've entertained, uh, if I've inspired you, why don't you go ahead and leave a like and subscribe? That'd be fantastic. Um, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate every single one of you. Oh, and on my next video, I promise we will pick something to give out for hitting the 1500 mark. Something cool, uh, but I haven't picked it out yet because I've been busy doing this because this inspired me and I'm, this is, for me, this is super fun. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling these out.